Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is Nicole with Made From Scrap and this is week two of our Easy Mixed Media series. We are focusing on using our crafty materials and not being afraid to use some of those items that we may have purchased and just haven't opened yet. So this week we are focusing on texture or lunar paste and I have a couple of quick projects that I went ahead and pulled together so that I'm ready for some paste to be added to give you a couple of examples. I would love to see your projects. If you can tag, try it this Tuesday on your post, either in Instagram or on Facebook. Um, you can tag me at Made From Scrap or on Instagram at underscore made from scrap. Really look forward to seeing some of your projects and I hope that you get some inspiration from these. So let's get started here. I have put together uh, a quick little chipboard album, what will be a chipboard album anyway, uh, using a paper collection that I had picked up some time ago from Country Craft Creations, uh, has been in my stash. It is Cute Critters from Dress My Craft. So if you picked up this collection, this is gonna be a really cute way to use it. So you may uh, recognize these leaves from our first week where we played last Tuesday with some, um, some of our inks and some of our sprays, and then we die cut that out. So I'm trying to use up these leaves that we created with some of the projects that I am working on over the next couple of weeks. And here we go. I cut this out. I'm going to set this aside. So for the paste, I have a stencil that I'm going to be using. Now this one is just some additional leaves and I'm going to open that up. Now the biggest thing to do is to decide what are we going to use. Are we going to use a paste, a texture paste, a lunar paste? This is Gold Rush Lunar Paste. I got this from Country Craft Creations and what we're going to do is use a craft, um, a, a craft knife here. I'm just going to put some on my craft knife and I'm just gonna hold down this stencil right over top and I'm just gonna go ahead and kinda scrape it a little bit, leaving a little bit material. Now, I don't like to go all the way to the edge um, just because I don't like a straight line on anything. So I'm just going to do it a little here and there. And then you don't have to leave a big um, hunk of material anywhere. That's not the idea. You want to just, you know, have it a little bit flat. So I'm gonna pick that up and just like so, you can see some of those leaves. Now, if you're gonna go ahead and lay it down somewhere else, just make sure that you don't uh, lay it on top of what you just did. So I'm going to be careful of that, but otherwise I'm still going to just place this down. And you can see I don't even cover all of it. I just cover a little bit. The whole idea, the whole idea is just to give some texture in the background. Okay, so I'm going to lift that up. And just like that, I have some leaves on the background. And now this needs to dry, and all I need to do with this stencil is place it over to a water bowl so that it can soak in the water. And I'm going to quickly wipe off this craft knife because I want to keep using it. So this is all water soluble. Make sure that you close up your pastes. And the other thing I want to make sure you know is use it. Once you open it, Start using it. That's the whole idea behind this because it doesn't last for years. And depending on where you live, it might uh, dry out a little bit faster. So that's our first project. I'm gonna set that aside 
and then we will come back to that after it has had a chance to dry because we are going to move on to another project here. I have a little art journal here that I did some sprays on. I used some, some oxide and some mica stains. I went ahead and stamped a little bit on, and then I went ahead and glued a couple of leaves onto this one. Um, I stamped a greeting at the top, and then I just used a pen to go around the outside of it and outline it. So I am looking to use, let's see, I think I wanna mix it up a little bit. Um, I think I'm just going to use this texture paste, which is translucent here. Let me open this up. Okay, and again, I'm gonna use my little spatula knife. And this time, I think I'm gonna just use these should I use the woods? Yeah, I think I'm gonna use the woods. Okay, so I'm gonna place this down. Place this down on top of my little art journal. And again, I'm just gonna go ahead and scrape some, some on. big globs, globs on there. I'm gonna go ahead and I think shove this underneath. this off a little bit because I do want to put a little white texture piece on there as well. All right, so let me close this up. And I'm gonna grab my other paste.
And I'm just gonna keep going with a couple other examples using some of my texture paste or the lunar paste. So I'm gonna put you on some uh, sped up version here and have fun. Okay, and now I'm going to use some of this Distress Texture Paste. This is a matte one. I like this a lot, as well as the Crackle version uh, that's made by Ranger and available at Country Craft Creation. Same thing as the case. I'm going to just use my little spatula here and scrape over some of that material onto the background through my stencil here. So I'm just going to do like this, and then I lift. And that gives me a little bit of a different feel for the design. So I'm just going to do a little bit here and there. You know, no real rhyme or reason to it other than I'm not doing it just in one spot. And maybe getting a little bit, you know, over top of some of the other materials so that there is layering going on like here on top of this uh, little mesh see that and then groupings of odd numbers is always good as well uh, so if we're going to put a little bit up here maybe then we're going to do a little bit on the bottom as well so we have one two three four and maybe we do a fifth over in this corner here Okay, let me grab a little bit more. I want it to be a little bit more substantial in the white down here. You just get a feeling for it is all. And then when we're done with the stencil, we're literally gonna put this right into a water bath just to keep it wet until we're ready to just take our cloth and, and wipe it off very gently or just pat it dry. Same thing with our little spatula. So here, I'm gonna let this dry and then I'll be right back with the finished projects. Mm -hmm. 